guys i am back with yet another hair tutorial i actually see how much you guys love when i do v part or u part wigs on my channel so i decided to do one today the wig that i'll be using is from ashy mary hair company they sent me over a body wave v part wig so let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like right out of the box the wig they sent me is 24 inches. It has this beautiful body wave texture. The inside construction, it comes with combs at the top, on the sides, and in the back. So it's easy for you to just clip it right on. This is like the perfect wig for my girls that love leave out like i said i see that you guys really love when i do like the more natural hairstyles on my channel so that's what this is going to be pop it on i'm going to show you guys how i curl it and style it and blend my natural hair with it so let's go ahead and get into it so i'm going to take my bonnet off i did already prep my hair I have my two braids right here. This is gonna be for my leave out. And then I have my leave out on the sides. And as for the rest of my hair, guys, I literally just put it back in a ponytail. I did prep my hair the night before. <laughs> look at this, they look like antennas. I did prep my hair the night before. So last night I went ahead and washed my hair, deep conditioned it and did like a hot oil treatment. And I flat ironed it this morning um so that it's nice and straight i do want my hair to breathe so i'm not going to braid my hair down i'm literally just going to keep this low pony if you are doing this style you can definitely go ahead and braid your hair down if you feel more comfortable with that or you can just leave the low ponytail like i did guys since i already have this hair taken out for my leave out i'm just going to go ahead and take the inside the clips that are in the inside and I'm gonna push those open like this. Now that all the combs are open, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop her on. Clips that are here, you're gonna see me just push those inside of my hair and then push them closed. Same thing there. Push it into the hair and then clip it in. The combs that are on the side for extra security, I'm just gonna go ahead and also push those into my hair as well on both sides. And then the same thing with the one in the back. I'm gonna push that underneath of my ponytail and look. Look how easy that was just to put it on. The hair feels super, super nice, super soft. Um, one thing I will say is that the hair feels a little thin. It's given like 150% density. I definitely would go for 200% if you like your hair full, but if you like your hair to be like natural, not as full, I think the 150% density is perfect for you. So first thing first, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take this braid out on the side. This is going to act as my leave out. Usually when I do U part wigs or V part wigs, I do not leave hair out on the sides but I want this install to look so much more natural. So that's why I decided to leave the hair out on the sides this time. As you can see, it literally looks like a sew-in. Like I just got a quick little sew-in done but a sew-in that only took me not even five minutes to pop on my head. As long as you prep your hair ahead of time, this is gonna be like the easiest install that you can do. So now that we have the sides taken out, I'm gonna get up close so you guys can see how seamless it is. Now that I have the sides taken out, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my leave out out as well. I'm 
I'm gonna get up close so you guys can see. The only thing I will say y'all is that, look, I say this in almost every video. I have a pretty small head. So the wig is a little bit bulky here. So if you have a small head like mine, you can either request a smaller wig or you can go ahead and sew the wig down, braid your hair underneath and then sew the wig down to your braid. But as you guys seen, I did not even put braids in. I just did a ponytail. So I may do that at a later date, but for now, I think it looks really good. We're gonna start on styling guys, because you can see where my hair stops right here. I'm going to layer the wig so that it just blends with it. So the wig is 24 inches. Um, I'm gonna take the wig and I'm gonna start layering it where my hair stops. So my hair stops about right here. I'm just gonna cut downward from where my hair stopped. And then I'm gonna cut into the hair. So before we curl the hair, I'm just gonna get the hair as straight as I can. So now I got the hair as straight as I can. As you can see, it looks like I got a sewing, y'all. Like it's really giving 2012 sewing, leave out vibes. Since I left the hair out on the side, I could definitely do like a behind the ear, leave some hair out like that type of look. It's really giving like 2012. It's given, is it my real hair? Is it not my real hair? I really do like this vibe, y'all. So I'm not gonna leave it straight. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and add some curls to it. Hooked up my curling iron. It should be a little hot now. So let's just go ahead and curl it and see how this hair curls. I'm gonna start from the back. Y'all, I gotta get used to wearing my natural hairline out again because I'm so used to wearing wigs. So when I do like leave out or I haven't did a sewing in years, but like leave out or ponytails or something like that, I'm like, damn, my forehead big as hell. <laughs> but y'all, this is my natural hairline. Like, so I shouldn't be like, I should get used to wearing it out again. That's my goal for 2024. I'm definitely going to be doing like a lot more natural looking hairstyles on my channel. I know that I wear a lot of wigs. I sell wigs. So it makes it easier for me to like promote wigs because I'm always wearing them. But I definitely do want to give like my hairline a break. And that's why I decided to go with a V-part wig for this week. I can't promise y'all. I know next week I'll probably have a lace wig on again. But like I said, I'm definitely going for more natural hairstyles now. Um, I don't know. Like I said in my last video, I'm like in my minimal era. I love the more minimal look. Um, 
I'm getting more into it. So I'll definitely still be wearing my inches. Don't get me wrong. I love a good wig, but these V part wigs make it so much easier for me to still wear the inches, but still look super, super natural. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my entire head and I'll come back once I'm done the whole thing. All right guys, so I finished curling my entire head. I'm just gonna go ahead with my wax stick and just add that to the top of my hair just to make it a little bit more silky and make it blend with the wig a little bit better. I'm just gonna comb through the curls to loosen them up a little bit. Like I said before, this wig does feel a little thin to me. So if you prefer your hair to be a lot fuller, which I do, I would suggest you to go ahead and get a 250% density or higher, just so that the hair can be a little bit fuller. My natural hair is not too, too thick. It's a little thin, so it does blend with my natural hair. As you can see, it does look really good, but just a preference thing, I do prefer my hair to be fuller. So I think the next go round, I will be getting a 250% density wig. Um, but this is pretty much what it looks like after it's curled. I actually love the fact that I left my hair out on the sides because if I wanted to wear it up in like an updo, something like this, I think that would be super, super cute. Actually, like if I'm going to the gym or something, I can push it up, put a clip on the back, and I think that would be super, super cute. The only downside to V-part wigs, guys, is if you're a natural girly like me, you might want to go with a um, more natural texture wig like kinky straight or kinky um, curly hair and then press it to match your natural hair because one thing I'm starting to notice already is that my roots y'all my natural hair girls y'all understand the roots do not stay straight and that is the only problem that I usually have with wearing my own leave out but I think this style should last me at least two days. I think it looks super, super cute. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. This is how my hair came out. As you can see, I have some leave out going on. I have the hair curled really cute. And I did like something similar to a curtain bang in the front because my real hair is a lot shorter. Um, it also helped cover up this big old forehead of mine. <laughs> I actually really like the way it looks, guys. Let me know in the comments if you like this wig, if you like this style. If you do and you're interested in purchasing this wig, I will have all the details down below in my description box, as always. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Smooches.